One of the largest planets ever detected orbits at an enormous distance around two stars with a combined mass up to 10 times greater than our Sun, an extreme celestial family that shatters assumptions about the types of places where planets can exist. The planet, located about 325 light-years from Earth, is a gas giant apparently similar in composition to Jupiter, but about 11 times more massive. It belongs to a planetary class called Super Jupiters, exceeding the mass of our solar system's largest planet. Is it habitable? How do we get there? Want to know more? Hey guys, welcome to our channel Beyond Unknown, where you can find everything related to space, science, and extraterrestrials. So stay with us till the end of this video, so you don't miss out on any of this information. But before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell symbol so that you don't miss out on any of our wonderful videos in the future. And let's get started. It orbits a pair of stars gravitationally bound to one another, called a binary system. It has what might be the widest orbit of any known planet, about 100 times wider than Jupiter's orbit around our Sun and about 560 times wider than Earth's. Until now, no planet has been found orbiting a star more than three times the Sun's mass. Stars larger than that emit so much radiation that they were thought to torch the planetary formation process. This discovery dashes that view. Planet formation appears to be an incredibly diverse process. It has surpassed our imagination many times in the past and will probably keep doing so in the future," said astronomer Marcus Janssen of Stockholm University in Sweden, lead author of the research published in the journal Nature. Since the discovery in the 1990s of the first planets beyond our solar system, so-called exoplanets, scientists have sought to learn whether or not our solar system represents standard architecture. From the trend seen so far, our solar system is not the most common type of planetary system architecture that exists, say study co-author Gayathri Viswanath, a Stockholm University astronomy doctoral student. For instance, there are planetary systems with so-called hot Jupiters, where massive Jupiter-sized planets orbit their host stars at a very close distance. A vast majority of the discovered planets also seem to have a size between that of Earth and Neptune, a size range in which our solar system has no planets," Viswanath said. The larger of the tandem stars in the B Centauri system in which the newly discovered planet resides has a mass around five to six times that of the Sun and is more than three times hotter, unleashing large amounts of ultraviolet and X-ray radiation. It is a so-called B-type star, a category of extremely luminous blue stars. It is quite young in cosmic terms, at around 15 million years old. In comparison, the Sun is roughly 4.5 billion years old. Less is known about the smaller the tandem. It is estimated at anywhere from one-tenth to four times the Sun's mass. The two stars orbit relatively close to one another, within about the distance of the Earth from the Sun. They can be seen with the naked eye from Earth in the constellation Centaurus. The European Southern Observatory's Chile-based Very Large Telescope captured an image of the planet named B Centauri ABB. Like Jupiter, it is believed to be comprised mostly of hydrogen and helium. Scientists had doubted that stars larger than three times the Sun's mass could host planets because they would present an unfriendly environment for planetary formation. Planets form from the material coming together inside huge disks of swirling gas and dust surrounding newborn stars. Big stars, it was thought, give off so much high-energy radiation that this material might be evaporated. The newly identified planet coalesced so far from its stars that it may have avoided this cauldron. The distance from the stars probably matters a lot, at least it did when the planet formed, Janssen said. The so-called Super Jupiter was found in space orbiting a white dwarf. Scientists have found what they are calling a Super Jupiter orbiting a white dwarf. This discovery was made possible by direct observations made by the Gaia mission of the European Space Agency, or ESA. The finding is a part of a treasure trove of data that has been made available in Gaia's Data Release 3, which offers the most detailed survey of our galactic neighborhood to this point. As a result of the observations made by the Gaia Observatory, which orbits a point in space approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, astronomers will be able to create the most accurate and complete multi-dimensional map of the Milky Way and have a better understanding of where we fit into the universe. As a member of the Gaia collaboration, Martin Barstow, who is also a professor at the University of Leicester in the fields of astrophysics and space science and the director of strategic partnerships for Space Park Leicester, has contributed to the publication of multiple papers that make use of the new data. 
A description of Starquakes, Stellar DNA, and a new binary star catalog containing more than 800,000 binary systems are a few of the additional highlights of Data Release 3, or DR3. Before the Gaia spacecraft was launched in 2013, only about 30,000 binary stars in our galaxy were known to exist. According to Professor Barstow, Gaia data has been moving through astronomy like a tidal wave. It is the most productive observatory that we currently have access to, and it is revolutionizing not only astronomy, but also our understanding of the universe. This Data Release 3 constitutes a fundamental paradigm shift. All of the data that we have catalogued using spectra, including stellar distances, ages, composition and more, represents a huge leap forward and adds a new dimension to what we know about the stars in our galaxy. Data reveals a super-Jupiter companion, it is notoriously difficult to obtain accurate observations of exoplanets that orbit white dwarfs. White dwarfs are the remnants of stars that did not have a core that was massive enough to evolve into a black hole or neutron star. However, by analyzing the motion of the metal-rich white dwarf WD0141-675 and noting a wobble in its orbit, researchers were able to infer the existence of a companion object with a mass of approximately nine times that of Jupiter. This discovery was made possible by the discovery of a wobble. The object is much too small to be a star, therefore it must be an extrasolar planet. This super-Jupiter is only the third known exoplanet to orbit a white dwarf, making WD0141-675 the white dwarf that hosts a planet that is closest to Earth. A glimmer of hope in their eyes. Gaia brings the total number of known binaries to more than double its previous count. Astronomers have also gained a deeper understanding of binary systems, which are made up of two stars that are gravitationally bound to one another thanks to Gaia's Data Release 3. It is a binary system consisting of a main sequence star called Sirius A and a dim white dwarf companion called Sirius B. Sirius is the brightest star visible from Earth after our Sun and it is a binary system. These new data sets both refine the stellar catalog of known binaries and add many more new such systems, which brings the total number of known binary systems from approximately 300,000 before Data Release 3 to more than 800,000. Professor Barstow continued by saying, with this release we have so much more data on binaries and critically, that data is so much more precise than what has come before. Once you have more precise data about a binary system, you can work out all sorts of things such as ages and composition. These are all aspects on which we have not previously had information. And by finding the answers to those questions, we can begin to understand more of the fundamentals behind how our universe works, including how stars are born and how they die. And that's it for today, guys. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please click on the like button and share it with your friends and family. If you have any questions or comments, please share them with us in the comment space below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also check out our other videos that have been specially selected for you. We'll catch up in the next video.